Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Claudine and today let's talk about drunk elephant. And pasensya na kayo kung medyo nakakunod yung mata ko kasi sobrang liwanag ng window because of sun rays, sunlight. Because yung rays ng sunlight sobrang lakas dahil mag-summer na. And naanuhan yung window naman. Anyway, let's talk about drunk elephants. So I've been using drunk elephants since November last year and nag-stop lang ako nung naubos yung mga pinamili ko ng mga, I think, end ng January. So, ito yung review ko based sa experience ko. So, disclaimer lang, bye bye tayo ng skin. What works for me may not work for you and what I may not like, you might like. So, iba iba tayo ng skin talaga and preferences. So, pinili ko sa Sephora that time was the Littles. Ito yung mga mini, uh, mini sizes nila. So, it has seven products inside and I also got one set ng Rice and Glow which has a vitamin C and B, B Hydra intensive serum and I also got their melting butter which is a makeup remover but I didn't pay for this this is free. Nakuha ko to sa points ko sa Sephora dahil I think nakakuha ko ng 500 points so ito yung free but bago ko nakuha to gumasas muna ako ng 15k bago ko makuha to so Mahal mo, ha? Anyway, so let's start with cleanser. Uh, by the way, before anything else, Sephora. Sorry, sorry. Drunk Elephant philosophy is focused on eliminating yung mga suspicious six ika nga sinasabi nila. And lahat yan nilalagay ko dito. Wala yan sa ingredients list nila. And they also claim to be clean. So they use natural and synthetic products. And to be honest, medyo premium yung price point nila so hindi sila budget friendly. But we'll see and I'll talk about that later. So first, let's start with this Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. This is a cantaloupe glycerin cleanser. So gusto ko siya in a way na hindi niya parang tinatanggal yung natural moisture ng skin ko. After cleansing, wala kang mararamdam na, mararamdaman na squeaky clean. Walang ganun. Hindi, hindi tight yung skin ko which is nice. But for the price point, this is expensive for what it does because it's only a cleanser. I would say the dupe of this is the Cost RX Good Morning Cleanser. Although, ingredients-wise, mas premium pa rin yung ingredients na to kasi drunk elephant. And wala, wala nga sila ng suspicious six. But, yung effect ni sa skin ko, parang almost the same lang siya. Medyo mas hydrating lang to and mas moisturizing. It claims to be pH balanced and unscented. Next is this Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense na may bronzer. Meron silang version nito na classic or I don't know what to call it. Basta yung white lang. Ito may konting tint. May nilagay silang bronzer. So, so may kulay siya but wala siyang coverage honestly. So, ayan siya. Ayan siya sa skin. And pag binad mo siya, wala. Diba? But it gives this parang dewy effect glowing effect which is actually nice and in fairness hindi siya mabigat sa skin doesn't feel like may sunscreen ka so i actually like this it has 20 percent zinc oxide but syempre mahal pa din so i would say the dupe of this will be the snail white cc cc cream the snail white sunscreen with spf 50 plus pa um, excuse me about that. Of course, ingredients-wise, again, it's incomparable kasi ito nga, walang toxic ingredients. But yung effect ni sa skin ko, it's almost the same, lightweight, and may konting tint. Pero walang coverage. Next naman is this vitamin C. Wala pa lang vitamin sa title na. It's the C Firma Day Serum. This is actually my favorite. It has 15% L-ascorbic acid and pumpkin ferment extract. So, yung vitamin C kasi is very controversial sa world ng skincare. Dahil hindi daw siya stable. But this diver derivative version of vitamin C claims to be the most stable of all the vitamin C in the market. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. So, I would say this is actually a nice quality vitamin C. But, 
sadly, wala ako nakikita ng dupe in the market na nagbibigay ng same effect sa skin ko. Kasi nakita ko talaga na pumuti yung skin ko dito. It has brightened my mga hyperpigmentation and acne marks. And for that, I would say this is really effective. And na-prove ko yun dahil nung bumili ako ng foundation sa Sephora, same day ko siyang binili nito. And that foundation was perfect shade. But then after weeks of using this, umitim, umuti ako and yung shade is na E1. Yung foundation shade ko is na E1. So I would say, totoo nakaka-brighten and nakaka-whiten siya ng skin. Face skin. Na nakaka-brighten siya ng skin. So you know the effect of vitamin C. It helps with collagen production. It firms the skin. It brightens the skin. And for me, it's really effective. But for the dupe, I'm sorry to tell you, I haven't seen or I haven't tried anything na pwede ko makumpare dito. Next is the B Hydra Intensive Serum. So, ito yung partner talaga dalawang to. And this is a hydrator. It's different from moisturization. It has pro-vitamin B5 and pineapple ceramide. So, para lang siyang tubig sa skin mo. Ganun yung literally yung ginagawa niya. If your face needs that hydration, this is it. But sadly, I haven't seen or tried anything na drugstore na same yung effect nito. But I would say, um, let me think, let me think. Wala, wala akong na-try sa market na same nito. Since this is hydration, siguro pwede nyo gamitin yung Hada Labu Hyaluronic Acid. Kasi hyaluronic is the same as hydration. But yun nga, medyo controversial din yung hyaluronic kasi hindi daw may mga nasabi na masyadong malaki yung molecules at hindi nagpa-penetrate sa skin. But this is, I don't know kung ano yung molecular camerot na to. But so far, it is effective naman in hydrating my skin. So the next is this C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. And this is eye cream version ng C Firma. But sadly, wala akong nakita ng effect sa eye bags ko or sa dark circles ko. Kasi hereditary yung pagiging dark ng mga circles ko. It has, I think, 5 derivatives of vitamin C and 8 peptides. Ingredients-wise, potent siya. But sadly, wala talaga ako nakita ng effect. Even yung sa mga finites, wala ako nakita ng effect. But maybe with long-term use, baka may makita ako. But sadly, in 2 months, wala. And siguro dahil sobrang itim talaga na eyeballs ko. But it's okay. And for the dupe, I'm sorry, wala din ako makita ng dupe for this in the market. So the next product is this Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. So this is a moisturizer. So ito yung pang seal ng hydration after mo mag-hydrate. So it has polypeptides which is actually also present in our body doing so many things, good things. And ito nasa cream, nasa cream version of peptides. So so far yes, I can see the effect na may moisturize naman yung skin ko. And for the dupe of this, I would say with this Snail White Moisture Cream, it's cheaper and same yung effect naman niya na moisturize sa skin ko. This is lightweight, which I like. It's not heavy and this is perfect sa mga oily skin type. Next is the TLC Frambu's Glycolic Night Serum and it claims to refine and retexture the skin. This is AHA and BAHA blend. So, nung ginamit ko to, nakita ko naman talaga yung effect niya sa skin ko. na re retexture niya yung skin ko and na re refine niya kasi this is a chemical exfoliant. But, the problem is na nag ako mag gamit nito. Nakita ko na parang nag-texturize yung skin ko and nag-dry siya. So, parang hinahanap niya yung ganito. Yung ito. So, parang nasanay siya. Which is actually medyo not a good thing for me. Kasi it means na if hindi ko na siya gamit, papangit na yung skin ko. So, I think ganun talaga yung mga chemical exfoliant. And nagkataon lang na this month, I haven't been using anything na chemical and synthetic sa skin ko. And I haven't been exfoliating my skin for more than a month. I'm actually liking it. Nagiging natural yung process ng desquamation sa skin ko. And for the dupe, I would say, kasi ito parang gel-ish type siya eh. 
may mga aha and baha naman sa drugstore like yung Cos R X mayroon silang version nila but ito mas potent I would say so hindi ko alam kung comparable sila kasi different version sila but same sila na chemical exfoliant so siguro yun yung masasabi kung pwedeng drugstore for this and the last one sa bag na to is this Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil and this is 100% unrefined so I think ito talaga yung parang star ingredient or star product ng Drunk Elephant kasi dito din I think galing yung name na Drunk Elephant nakuha nila yun from the elephants na kumakain ng Marula Fruit and kapag nasobrahan kumain ng Marula Fruit nalalasin kaya Drunk Elephant so I actually saw yung video sa YouTube na yung mga animals kumain ng marula fruit and dalasin. It was actually funny. You can watch it by yourself kung gusto nyo. Anyway, so yung effect nito, this is actually a little thicker oil. But yes, it is very moisturizing and luxurious to feel like this is ex damn expensive oil. This is so expensive for a marula oil. And Maybe the reason why it's expensive is because maganda yung pagka-source ng produkto, maganda yung process ng produkto. But for the dupe, I would say madaming madaming marula oils in the market that you can buy. I'm not sure kung meron sa Watsons or sa drugstore, but cheaper yung version. You just have to, you know, search Google and find 100% unrefined marula oil. But of course, this is Drunk Elephant, so that's why they can price their marula oil like this. And I would say this has been my favorite since I tried the natural skincare regimen. So I've been using this until kaubos na siya. And maraming mga nutrients ang marula oil. So I'll try to put it somewhere here kung sipagin na ko. And the last one is this Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. So pag binuksan mo siya, medyo matigas yung texture nung, nung balm. And natry ko siya once lang. Hindi ko nalagyan nitong parang booster na sinasabi nila. Like, this is actually a exfoliant din. So, ito lang. And so far, effective naman siya sa pagtanggal ng makeup. It is very luxurious sa feeling sa skin ko. But the problem is, it is very expensive. So, I might not buy yung full size nito. Okay na ako na na try ko. So, I would still go for my oil cleanser. And for the dupe, I would say pwede kayong mag-try ng Pons. Meron silang parang ganitong version. The Balm or something like that. So, it's the same. But of course, wala tong toxins. Wala tong mga toxic ingredients. And yung suspicious six na sinasabi nila. So, ingredients wise, this is angat. But same lang yung effects sa skin nung pons and ito. So, that's it. I think, wala na kasi ito. Actually, hindi pa ito nagamit. So, if naisipan kong bumalik. Kasi, I have, I have been, sabi ko nga, natural for the past month. Kung maisipan kong bumalik ng chemical, ex, uh, ng chemical skincare or synthetic skincare, I would definitely continue using this. Kasi, I love this tool really effective products sa skin ko. And my skin has been loving Drunk Elephant. Ang pinaka pinaka downside lang talaga ng Drunk Elephant is its premium price point. Like, sobrang hindi siya budget friendly na sa mga estudyante. And even sa mga minimum wage worker, it's not budget friendly but you would understand why ganun ka mahal. Kasi syempre, nasa Sephora siya. And pag nasa Sephora, yung mga products na nasa Sephora actually ma taas yung cut ng Sephora. So, that's the reason why. And other than that, wala na akong masabi. I hope may nakuha kayo or nagkaroon kayo ng idea. And if nagustuhan niyo yung video na to, don't forget to click the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and click that hit click that hit what? Click that bell notification para ma-notify kayo every time na may new upload ako. See you sa next video. Bye!